Hi guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you my electrical system wiring diagram and go through and just potter around with a few little jobs today. It's Sunday, it's Remembrance Day, it's a late start for me on the van. I've watched the Cenotaph thing on the BBC today, it wasn't very long, but watch that and I want to watch some football later. So just a few little things and I'll just talk through my electrical setup and show you my wiring diagram or how I planted um, to wire. kind of like that seat not being there. The amount of area opens up, allows instant access into the back of the van from the driver's seat, just like a single passenger seat would. But it opens up a lot of area. Perhaps I should just sell it, sell the swivel, take those lugs out the floor, utilise the space in a different way. Just a thought, there's plenty of pros and plenty of cons. I'm just going to put some uh, plastic conduit around this cable as it runs underneath there and up. And I'll also put some the other side into in the engine compartment and whatever so that it's protected. So here's my electrical wiring diagram for the van. Let's start over with the starter battery. The positive cable running out of that, as you've seen me install in the last day or two, is fused at the starter battery end. And that cable runs right through to my CTEC smart pass. The X there just before the smart pass will be my isolator. I'm going to just have an isolator there so I can just shut the system off. CTEC smart pass joins to the CTEC D250 SE battery to battery charger. And that's connected by metal bars that go between the two of them. Coming into the CTEC 250 SE are two 100 watt solar panels. On the positive line of that will be a fuse and another isolator. Off the CTEC Smart Pass, we have all the consumer items. So there'll be little fuse boxes, various cables, various um, 12 volt sockets. Uh, there'll all be in switches, lights, all sorts of will come out of there. So if we look at the service battery, we've got a positive in, again that's fused, from the CTEC Smart Pass. We've got a direct line to some critical items. Now critical in a van, perhaps a... Um, some lighting or whatever, nothing nothing much more than that. Um, if it was in a boat, for example, you would want your radio systems to, to, and your navigation lights to still work. So you could run that direct off the service battery. So when the CTEC system says, there's not enough power, I'm shutting down, you can still actually run those with the remaining power you've got. Off the service battery or batteries um, will be a shunt. So nothing goes on to the negative terminal, but the shunt goes on and everything comes off the opposite side. All the negatives come off the opposite side of the shunt. And the purpose of the shunt is to provide a battery monitor and accurate reading of your battery levels, etc. So what's the point of the CTEC system? The CTEC D250 SE is an updated version of their CTEC battery to battery, DC to DC charger now it charges at a 20 amp rate by adding the smart pass in you add an extra 120 amps amps making a total of 140 amps to charge which is far more powerful so far more efficient than a vsr but it has lots of other things as well it can separate the batteries um it can provide a smart assist so the the uh, service battery can help start the engine for a maximum of 10 seconds. It can send some ampage across if required. It also chooses which way it wants to charge your service battery, whether it's using solar or whether it wants to switch over if the engine is running and the alternator is charging your starter battery. It also, the smart pass section, allows it to charge your consumer items directly from the alternator and not through the service battery so therefore when it's charging the service battery that's far more efficient 
it charges the service battery and runs your consumer items at the same time if it if it just charges the battery and the battery is also being drained at the other end by your consumer items it charges far less efficiently so that's a, another good thing there are various other bonuses and benefits and i'll show you that in the installation video which will which will be coming up fairly soon and, um, so i've ordered a next base dash cam it's got gps it's the 322 gw and i'll show you the installation of that once i get it but um i'm quite chuffed to to get that i've also added the cabin attachment as well so if i want to talk to you guys i can just talk to the dash cam as i'm driving along don't have to worry about any other camera setups and then just use that footage because it's set records it as a separate file to the outside road um, video that it records so that's just a, a little additional bonus i've put this unit in so i can play around with some measurements i'd have it nearer to the sliding door so there's room behind it for the battery and charging system but also one of the bonuses with putting this unit in, I was able to measure between the unit and the diagonal for the diagonal bed and actually I put some carpet down, moved all that junk out of the way and actually laid down and there was enough room in there even though I was on the floor level. Nice. Apologies for the lack of physical things getting done today but there's a lot of planning day and if I don't get the planning right at this stage um, I'll be backtracking days, weeks or regret it for ages. So I just need to make sure I've got things right and there's a wasp or a bee buzzing around me. Um, so, yeah, lack of getting things done. However, where has it landed on me somewhere? Um, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and commenting all the time. And um, I will continue to do these and lots of things are going to just spring to life in the next few days. As I said earlier today, I want to go and watch football now. I went to the remembrance thing and that's what I'm going to finish on. So if you're not interested in just seeing um, the end of a service for remembrance, then that's all. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch, just carry on. It's only a few minutes long.